Hi, I'm Dan Farnham. I'm an associate professor of photography at the University of Tulsa in the School of Art, Design, and Art History. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a couple different kinds of camera types and why you might choose one over the other for different kinds of uh, thematic or conceptual reasons. Uh, the first kind of camera I wanted to show is a large format film camera. Uh, more specifically, it's called a field camera, which actually is a more compact version of the style of equipment. Uh, some of the advantages of why someone might use it is that it offers a lot of clarity uh, because of the size of the film that you're using. So if we take a quick look at the back, we have this piece of glass here. This is four by five inches, which is the size of your negative, where normally if you've shot film before, you might be shooting negatives that are about the size of a quarter. Because this is much larger, you can enlarge your prints to another uh, kind of level of scale that have a different kind of impact on your viewer. One of the other reasons why I like to use this kind of camera um, for portraiture in particular, if you look at my project Youngblood, um, I wanted to really connect with my viewers. And it's kind of a slow camera to use. You have a tripod, you have uh, several moving parts here that you're navigating as you're working through a situation. So it's kind of a slow process. But I like that because it allows me to talk with my subjects and learn about them. So while I'm setting up my equipment, I'm asking uh, people questions about where they're from, what their interests are, and I'm also sharing information about myself to help create a more genuine connection with my subjects. Another type of camera that might be familiar to you is a digital SLR. Uh, they also started making similar cameras called mirrorless, which uh, the main difference between a mirrorless and a DSLR is there's no mirror in the mirrorless. But they're kind of similar in size and they have interchangeable lenses, so they're really versatile, which can be really great for a lot of situations. And these kind of cameras are great if you need to respond quickly to something. Um, if it's like street photography and there's a lot happening in front of you in like a public space, you can respond very quickly with a camera like this because it's light uh, relative to other cameras and you're quite portable. Um, I had started using this camera more, again, um, for a more recent project called Centennial. One of the other benefits of a camera like this, it's really great for working in a lighting studio where you're dealing with commercial strobe lights. Uh, in the past, you would have had to work with Polaroid film, which is quite expensive to run tests, and now you can shoot it and just very quickly look on a computer. Uh, one of the other reasons why I started using this camera more often for my more recent project is, so Centennial is about um, the way Tulsa is changing in regards to potential gentrification and uh, development that's happening downtown. And it's very quick. All that's changing very quick in town. So a camera like this has kind of cut out some of the workflow where I don't have to send my film out to a lab for color film, get it back and scan it. I can jump in and look at my results immediately, which is great for that kind of project. One of my other cameras that I wanted to show that I thought might be a nice comparison to this DSLR is this little compact Fuji camera that I have. It's a Fuji X100F. It's a digital camera. It just has some stylings that look like an old film camera. Uh, but it's a really high power digital camera for the size that it is. So if you look at a size comparison, this is you know, about two thirds of that size and it's also significantly lighter. This has been really great for another recent project that I'm chipping away at uh, where I'm photographing in my neighborhood during the pandemic, mostly on, on walks. So part of that is getting out of the house and trying to see other people just in the street and in their yards, but I also want to be able to move around very quickly and easily and not be uh, weighed down by a tripod or a heavy camera. So this is perfect for that.